Good morning, good morning, good morning. Why? My life came on that fast today. Um, my name is Aisha Jamila Karabangura. I'm the Shabby and Shaz Creations. Um, today, I wanted to talk to you guys about ingredients. So let me just stop. I was kind of praying. Let me sh- shut that um, YouTube down. And uh, let me make sure that I am on uh, public. Oh, today does it. Ain't that a mess? All these other times I go live. My life has been messing up, and today it goes right on public. Okay, good. So, we're here, right? So, if you're joining me, please tag somebody. I forgot to tag somebody. Um, start a watch party. Um, get, I get a lot of calls about what do you use? What is in your ingredients? What are the ingredients that you use? Uh, so, I figured today, while I'm making uh, one of my products, I'm going to do that with you. And bear with me while I set up this camera. Because I don't want to go live from my big arm. Um, there we go. That's better. Good. So, I try to... How should I say this? I try to do my lives at my vulnerable point, my weak point, whatever you want to say it. But I try to do my lives so you can see the authentic me. Why do I use the word the authentic me? I don't want you to see me all the time. Um you know, dressed up, whatever. So I work normally best in my house in lounging clothes. And every time I want to go live and show you guys how to make something, I don't want to be dressed up. And that's not authentic. That will not be my authentic self because you're seeing me dressed up to do a live. But I do work, I like to work in loose clothes, um, you know, long sleeves to protect my skin. So um, make sure that I get, you know, shoes on, like house shoes, which I have on, and um, long pants why you want to make sure that when something splashes you don't get uh, on your skin or that your skin you know um is going to be able to be protected while you work all right so i'm going to go down a little bit it looks like i'm looking up the reason why i go up normally in my chair i got a chair that goes up and down the reason why i go up in my chair is if i'm going to be mixing stuff which i'm going to show you today um i'm going to be mixing a cream for um for some special people that are in my life, my customers, they drive me crazy. So I'm going to be mixing a cream today. So today we are talking, if you just joined me, you need to stay put. Everybody wants to know what oils I use, what um, natural products do I use, are they organic, blah, 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 and what grade are they. So I, am, I have decided to show you a variations of some of the stuff that I use and what is in those ingredients and why they're important to us. So to me, you, your skin, our skin. Um, should I invite friends to watch okay maybe we can invite a couple of friends to watch do i know how to do this oh yeah we can do this all right i'm just gonna send a few invitations out and then then we're gonna start okay so uh i don't know today i'm gonna talk really basically about um skincare oils ingredients that are good for our skin and some of the ingredients, the key ingredients that I use, that I love, actually, I'm addicted to. So a lot of people want to know about my ingredients. So we're going to talk about ingredients listed up this morning. Um, most of what we're going to talk about is oils and um, skin, morning baby, and skin enhancing stuff for your skin. So we're going to talk about oils first. So I'm going to go through some of my beautiful list of oils, and then we're going to take it from there. Does that make sense? All right, good. Um, a lot of us... Um, like to have a good skincare routine uh, which some of us love oil some of us dry, got dry skin some of us got combination skin and some of us just got skin that we just stubborn and had to take care of so all that said my goal is to be able to um encourage you guys to be able to use the best products out there and uh, and some of these oils i'm going to show you i'm not exaggerating when i tell you you can just use that oil and your skin will thrive after a while so you're not going to use the oil today and today see result no you're going to be able to use these oils for a long period of time for for your skin to um bond with that oil make a union with the oil whatever it may be but um a lot of people think that you can use a product today and it works today when that happens trust and believe that you are not using natural stuff trust that trust and believe that there's a chemical well uh, natural stuff are chemicals too but trust and believe there's a hash chemicals that's the key word i wanted to use there's a hash chemicals there that your skin doesn't like so first of all somebody just asked me uh what's on my face so this is my um 
special blend soap sometimes i have stubborn areas we all got spots i don't care who you are you got some discoloration some spot but you want to be able to still glow and look good through all that discoloration and through all them spots that you have so you you want to sometimes i pay attention to the whole face and then there are days that i pay attention just to where i have little work to be done does that make sense okay good because you guys ask me all those questions of how i do my thing so i want to be able to share those experiences with you and before we do that i wanted to just make something about so beat hold on one second you guys hang in there i'll be right there so i wanted to look up something that i want to talk about but i wanted to make sure that i'm using a term that you guys can understand because there's a uh a chemical term and then there's a layman's time i should say a time that we all be used to so let me uh, just give me a minute i just want to do this i'm just uh, o r b i t o l the word is subital i wanted to look up subital um to make sure that i when i explain subital to you that i was going to make sure that i, I use the right words um to explain subital to you. Uh, we all know some people think subital is a um, laxative, right? But I'm not using the, the subital that I'm gonna be using uh, is not a laxative. So I'll be, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna talk to you guys about uh, subital um, 70%. Um, it's food grade, the ones that I use. Um, it can be part of the, gly the glycerin family also. Um, I think it's 70% that I use. Let me just make sure. I'm gonna look up my um, order. To make sure that the subital that i use and, and uh oh, here we go okay is this it is 70 percent and um you can find them as cheap as five dollars and you can find them as high um as in the hundreds thousands even um depending on um you know what you need to use it for and the consistency uh subital for skincare here we go i wanted to make sure i tell you and uh, there's a lot of people that are allergic to subatol. I got to tell you guys that. So you got to make sure you are using it um, in the way, right formation. So I'm just going to talk. Um, it's one of the things that is good for anti-aging, just in case I forgot to tell you. Okay. And it hydrates your skin and nourishes your skin. So I'm going to start with subatol and work my way through. Um, let me just show you guys what I've done. I have put down all my ingredients here. Well, most of them the rest are up there but these are the ones i want to talk to you guys about because these are the ones that really can help you um so i wanted to talk to you guys really about oils today a lot of people call me and say i want to get an oil i want to use the oil what should i get um of course i make correctional skin correctional oils those are different the skin correctional oils means we've put a lot of effort into bringing something to you that has been pH balanced, that has been mixed well, um, that has all the right um, amount. Good morning, baby. That has all the right, oh, I made your tea. Aisha, um, Aisha, sir, I made your tea, your tea's ready. Okay, so call me after the show. Um, so I wanna make sure it has the right uh, amount, right consistency, and all that is done on the uh, uh, clinical setting or um, a pharmaceutical setting or a lab setting so i'm not asking you to mix at home so i want to make sure i tell you that so what i'm telling you i am not let me i'm putting this up front before i even start showing you products i am not encouraging you to mix at home what i'm encouraging you to do is to buy oils that when you run out of products if you're my customer and you run out of some of my products you can say okay this i can use it's always in my shelf this is part of your household um it, it's in your house you we all use olive oil, correct? So I'm gonna start from from there. I was gonna do subitol first. So I'm gonna start. Good morning, Tata. I was gonna start from subitol and move my way um, over. Okay. So um, subitol is um, one of the most effective ingredients that I use. That I I mean love with subitol. I just love subitol. Okay. And the reason why I love it is it's an anti aging um, ingredient. Do you want to get old? Because I know I don't. So I'm gonna go through some of my ingredients with you. Then I'm, from the ingredients, I'm gonna go right into um oils so this is going to be an interesting uh, morning with us and then from the oils we are going to be finishing up mixing um can you, can you see that so i've already put all, most of my ingredients and i'm going to show you what my husband has done to make this one of my best tools that i love okay this this is a make-believe tool we, we it, it don't come like this this is a regular black decker um um drill 
that my husband i'll show you guys when we get to that so if you want to see this why this tool is so important in this house you really need to pay attention when we get there but i got maybe another 20 minutes before we get to that tool okay so now that said so that is my mixing station hello ali um uh, ria how you doing okay sherry uh fatima too how you doing let me just acknowledge people and marie Bellu. don't know when you've been here for a minute marie um and i think we're just gonna go right into uh, are we ready okay so if you want to take notes you could but if you want to just take a snapshot of every product that you think you're going to need then just take a snapshot you guys know how to do that right why are you watching your life you can just take a you know if you got an iphone click the two sides and you'll take a snapshot of that product so you can freeze that frame so in other words you're freezing the frame but you're just taking a snapshot of it so okay let's start with summer tall like i was starting this is summer tall i took my manufacturer the people that supply me their name off all right, so that's Sabotol, and I do 70% Sabotol. Um, the reason why I choose 70% because it's in the best organic, natural, um, high um, potency, and it's also um, dissolvable. When I put it in my solutions, it's dissolvable easily, and I can melt stuff down and add to it, and I still don't lose the value. Does that make sense? Good. All right. So you guys going to be lost today. <laughs> you want to hear what I do? So you got to be ready. Okay. So then I wanted to go from Sabatol and I'm going to go. I bought, uh, I have a sample pack here that I was going to send to somebody that is interested in doing what I do. So I got a sample pack here that I bought for somebody and I'm going to, well, I had to buy it because they couldn't buy it. Um, you have to have a special license to get some other stuff. So I have a sample pack here that I got to, for somebody. So I'm going to share the this is the best skincare routine, just in case you want to know. These are the best products in this little bag for uh, people that want to tone their skin, enhance their skin, moisture their skin, um, just glow. So we're going to go through them one at a time. All right. Let me just turn it around so you guys can see. Kojic Acid Deplant. You guys see that? Now, I'm a Kojic Acid person. You guys know that, right? So why do we, um, why um, are we addicted to Kojic Acid? Because it's good for your skin. It um, gets rid of pigmentation, dark spots, discoloration. So that's one of my babies right there. And I buy two kinds. Okay? So I'm just going to flash them so you see the two different kinds. So there's like 17, 18 kinds of kojic acid. Okay? So don't call me, ask me. That's not, I'm not going to go into details like that. So, but kojic acid is one of my babies. I really, really just love kojic acid. And from the company I get, they make maybe six different kinds of kojic acids and oh people that are thinking of buying and mixing you better know how to dilute and you better make sure you bring it from a solid to a liquid or else you're gonna get some really bad skin issues so there are four types of um kojic acid that i like to use so sometimes that's why i call it my creams four in one or four yeah, that's why i use the word four because i like to use a lot of the same ingredients over and over so these are four different kinds of kojic acid i'm asking you not to mix by yourself if you don't know what you're doing but people have been asking me for ingredients and i want to make sure i tell you and show you what your ingredients look like before they end up in that container over there does that make sense so we're going to go through the whole process of how i go from here to there all right so you know that you cannot put this directly on your skin right do we all know that okay good i want to make sure you know that don't say i saw it on shares creations and i went and got it no you cannot put this directly on your skin you have to um bring it down to a liquid state okay and i'm not gonna see you showing that now so you gotta bring this powder form this is the kojic acid powder this is all natural all organic i want to see if i um and the brand that i like is skin additives is the name of the company i just love their brand i just love their brand so that's them all right they're in the u.s base um i think they're in missouri somewhere or arizona i don't know where they are but this is the brand that i like um skin um actives so i'm just gonna put those down so that's kojic acid okay and I told you I got you a sample just so I can do this demonstration with you guys, right? I don't use little sample, little quantities like this. And uh, if you don't know alpha butane and a butane, that's a butane. So that's what a butane look like. So when you guys read my ingredients list and you see a butane, this is in the raw form, and this is a when it's in the raw form, it's in a, a powder state, and you gotta bring from powder to liquid before you start measuring. And you can't put powder on your skin. Don't do that. I'm serious word for a while do not try this at all okay i mean that um 
So, some of the other ingredients. I love this little tool. That's my favorite. I love this little tool. So, I have little tools that I use to measure. And I'm going to show you guys. Because some ingredients you don't need but a tip of that ingredient. So, and some of them, if you look at this paper, you're going to see that they are measuring. So, sometimes I can make a whole batch of five gallon of soap five gallon of lotion five gallon cream and i may just only need a tip bit of that solution after i go from powder to from solid to liquid does that make sense okay good and of course these are my scoopers i got tons of these around um people call them tongs and these are my scrapers so sometimes i just need a tap to be able to weigh so if i'm weighing um a chemical i sometimes can use that or mixing if I just want to mix a teeny little batch for somebody which I know I hate to do because it's it's waste of money and I'm gonna go through that same pipette has a smaller measurement one does that make sense okay all right good now we're gonna go right into um, two four five more chemicals then we're gonna go right into um, natural organic chemicals we're gonna go right into um, oils um, this is the part that you guys really need to pay attention to the oil section is really good for you to learn the different types of oils and how you can use them by themselves do not mix them and i'm not going to tell you what to mix together i'm not going to do that do not mix the oils but i'm going to talk of each oil what they do to your skin the reason why i'm doing this some of my customers ask me well i'm running out of product and i might not have no money um, i showed you guys before um a butane and i'm going to show i show you alpha butane this is a butane okay that's how it comes so these are all skin enhancing stuff this is stuff that's gonna give you the glow give you um take care of discoloration pigmentation hyperpigmentation all these products that i've shown you all work cohesively to do they all doing the same thing but when you bring them all together it's a powerhouse get it all right good okay good now the other thing um i wanted to to talk to you guys about was glucosinin and it is so expensive it's hard for you to buy more than this amount it really is for you to buy more than this amount and you can really make a lot of stuff from this little amount a lot of stuff because most of the time what you need is a gram or half a gram okay and what does that do that enhances the texture of your skin and uh, um um some of you guys have been using my butane um serum let me see if i can find one I think I took it to the other side. My butane serums, but I don't normally, I don't sell them to you guys now. I just use it for my facials. So, uh, um, butanic acid come, is where I, one of the bases that I use to make the butane serum. Does that make sense? Good. All right. So, and then I wanted to talk to you guys about two other things that is very, very important to you. Antioxidant. This is in a concentrated form. So you cannot put this directly on your face. Do not buy this stuff and try to put it on your face, on your skin. I'm serious. You're going to get bad skin reactions. All right? Because these are all in the concentrated form. And you need to know the um, percentages before you can do something. Like somebody asked me the other day, where do I go to know? Um, and I left it out for, for me to send them. And I forgot. Somebody asked me the other day, where do I go to calculate formulations for my soap? There's a, um, a site that I love called um, SoapCal. So S O A P C A L C. It's a soap calculation site. Um, so I use that site because I like to calculate stuff, and you, they give you free formulations also. So if you want to start making soaps, hey, you can go there. I like to share information because I know I I know what God has destined for me, what God has destined for you. We both can be in each other's space because God made that money just for you. God made that money just for me. So I don't care if we're both making the same thing, sitting next to each other. Whatever money I'm supposed to make, God is going to give it to me. Does that make sense? Okay. So now the last thing I wanted to talk about was the lemon peel extract. Do you see how little that sucker is? This is one of the bases for your... Um, organic um, peel, micro peeling oil. This is one. Please don't go buy stuff. And I just said that I just did this show because my um, my uh, website has been said, people have been saying a lot of questions. So next time they send me a question, I'm going to say, go find my video. That's why I'm doing this um, video segment. So this is my powerhouse of ingredients. So I put, I put very, very little of everything so I can show you guys today. This is my powerhouse of ingredients in the chemical form, in the powder form. Or in a solid form that has to be brought to a liquid form before you can even start using it. So I'm going to put this back. 
in my little container. And then now we're gonna go into oils. So if you wanna know about oils, tag somebody. Um, if you want to know about what's the best oils to use for your skin, um, if you want, don't mix them. I'm not telling you to mix them. I'm just telling you that some of them you can use by themselves. And when I get to oil that you can use by itself, I'll tell you you can use it all by itself. Some of the oils you cannot use it just like that, okay? So let's get that. Okay, so we talked about Sobotol, right? So this is one of anti-aging. And okay, people can drink Sobotol too. If you drink it, you're gone. Have to run because it cleanses your stomach. I'm serious. Look it up. So Sobotol is also used as a laxative. But in skincare, we don't use it as a laxative. We use it because we have skin farming. Um, it helps your skin maintain balance. Does that make sense? So that's why we use it. To make you, you look young and to maintain skin and balance. Do not, do not buy it and put it on your skin. All right? So it is a, one of my ingredients. Since you ask asking, because it's on your label of, of when you buy my product, is there. And everybody's been asking me what it's for. That's why I'm telling you about Sobotol. That's it. All right? So do not get it and use it by itself okay the next thing i wanted to talk about, i'm going to take all the big containers first then i'll get to the smaller containers that those are the ones you buy when you buy at home does that make sense okay so i'm going to go to a big stuff first that you don't know about or may know about and you do not know really what to, what it's for and what does it do to your skin but you see them in, as part of your ingredient list and uh sometimes they fake my back is itchy like that. Sometimes they fix, sometimes they real. But I'm telling you, my products are all but in the U.S. And I can show you each one of them. You see the flag? Do I see that U.S. flag? Okay. Do you see the organic seal? Where's the organic seal? You see the organic seal? Where is it at? Where's my organic seal? Oh, right here. Right there. You guys see the organic seal? All right. And, and I, I tell you guys all the time that I like premium stuff. So I like to buy the best. So now, where is Belu? Belu is addicted to glycerin. So some of you that are addicted to glycerin, here's glycerin. Okay. This is pure, natural, organic, top grade glycerin. It's um, it's food grade. Let me put that up again so you can see it. It's a food grade. Okay. And this is one of the key ingredients in every one of your creams. So every cream I make, I have put a little bit of that in the cream. And I use it also for soaps. Now, if you are somebody that has dry skin, that really want just to lubricate your skin, and you know what you're doing, okay? You could use um, vegetable glycerin. But please don't use too much because you're going to get dark. All right? So when you run out of products, you can use vegetable glycerin in reference to wait, why you wait for your products. All right? Daddy? Yeah, where you should have coffee and I remember me small. Where you should have coffee and I remember me. Please, did you guys hear that? My husband says I'm live, you won't give me coffee. Daddy, if you bring it, I put it on the corner. Nobody will see you coming in my room. Just come to the corner. And give it to me. I'm dying for a cup of coffee. All right. So we we just talked about glyc um, glycerin. We talked about sorbitol, and I wanted to talk to you guys about um, emu oil. Okay. Now, have you ever seen when your skin looks like it wants to flake? Or not everybody does it. No, just people like have really bad dry skin. Um, they ha um, emu oil is excellent for that. It can be used on kids. It can be used, um, and and I want to make sure you know that if you're gonna use it for a child, you got to dilute it. Don't use it full strength. These are all the all the stuff I'm showing you is um, pharmaceutical strength. So they, you cannot just buy. You gotta know what you're doing. So the only thing I've told you that you can use is vegetable. Don't forget that. The only thing I've told you you can use is vegetable glycerin on your skin. So do not use this oil if you don't know what you're doing. So this is um, pure emu oil. This is a pharmaceutical grade A. Most people use grade C. I like to use the highest grade, and I'm going to bring it up kind of heavy. All right? And as you can see, it's organic. It's natural. Can you guys see the organic seal? This is the steel I want you to keep following, the organic seal. Uh, some people have it green. Some companies have it green and a little bit of 
different color on the bottom, but that green seal. And the word organic will always be there, and the word premium will always be there. So this is MU oil. Now, I want to show you guys, because I have I have a little bit that I've mixed that I want to show you what it will look like if it's done correctly. It will look like a cream. So do not mix it at home. If you wanted to, you can use just a little consistency. I'm talking about a little. Don't go using this a lot, because you get that. For people that want color, don't use it a lot. I mixed up a few, a little bit, so get, and I can't lift that up. It's too heavy because I'm gonna make cream in a minute. But I want to show you how moisturizing it, how much moisturizing it does. Okay, see your skin. Okay, so that's a little bit of it. I mean, very little. I just took a little tip of it. That's the emu oil. Has no smell. But this is this. I started. I showed you a concentrated form, and this is a diluted version. Can you imagine? This is diluted. And look out little bit went a long way okay so it really really glows your skin it's healthy for your skin it really is good for your skin i'm gonna wipe it up because i'm gonna be using other oils so you don't think that that's the same oil that's left over from that so i'm just gonna wipe that off so you guys know that i wiped it off because i'm gonna show you the oils that you can use at home uh, do not use that oil if you don't know what you're doing okay so we went from emu oil we've done uh did we do glycerin yeah we did glycerin now, I want to move to propylene glycol. This is, I'm going to answer this as I show you how I mix in a few minutes, all right? Okay, I'm going to show you how I mix in a few minutes. It's right around the corner right there. But I just wanted to go through this oils quickly and um, skin toner that you can get and use at home by yourself. And of course, now, or any... Any of these oils you can use at home, but as always... You might be allergic to some of them. You might have... So try them. Meaning, what I'm saying, do a little skin test patch. Um, behind your ear. You know, some way it's not visible that if you break out, everybody's not going to be seeing your breakout. So if you're going to try any of these oils, um, try them in little... Um, maybe like for a week. No, maybe seven days. Try, try it for seven days. Then you can... Oh. My, is it, is my life frozen? I'm looking at myself on the other screen and it looks like my life is frozen. But... This life look like it's moving. Let me just refresh, see if that life is moving. Hold on a second. Jim Grace, how you doing, baby girl? I'm just going to refresh my page because it looked like my life. Yeah, my life was frozen. Tata, how you doing, honey? Okay, let's see if my life will come back on. Okay, I'm looking at my other screen. You guys can see it, but I got a big screen. Um, My computer screen that's telling me. It's telling me my life is not on. I can see you. It was, but it's okay now. Thank you, baby. I appreciate that. Okay, so my life was frozen. Now it's back on. All right, but I still can't unfreeze my computer. I don't know why. So we're just going to... Okay. All right, let's see if we can get it. Tata, that, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. So now let's um, let's go back to oils that you can... Wait, let me make sure before I run my mouth. Yeah, all those oils that I'm going to talk about now, you can use. All right? So that's... An excellent way for you to start um, experimenting on oils that are good for your skin. Um, your skin will tell you when it doesn't like something. So listen to your skin. Um, irritations is not a good sign. If you feel irritated, African people will like, the skin is irritated and we still continue to use it. No, it's not a good sign. When your skin is irritating or you're itching or, I mean, in some cases, if you have somebody to consult with, it might be a good thing. But if you don't have somebody to consult with, please switch. You know, don't keep using that product if you don't know the maker, if you don't know um, what the product does. So, but these are products that you can use. Um, we just got to do a skin test, okay? So, we're going to start with my, one of my own, own favorite, which is the Sweet Almond Oil. All right? I'm giving you my products as they come. I, I did the, um, the one gallons because it's easier for me to lift them up for you to see. Okay? So, these are all organic. You see the green seal? So some of these ingredients may not have been from the U.S., but it is made in the U.S. And let me see if I can find that make in the U.S. symbol. Oh, right here. They're all on the bottom here. These are all your symbols. So they miss, they're made in the U.S., um, premium organic. You know, all these are the symbols you're going to find on a, on a product when you get it. I love almond oil. Why? I want to tell you this. If almond oil is mixed in, with another oil that is very compatible with it and you put a little bit of all the skin enhancing um chemicals that i showed you earlier your skin is gonna just blossom 
So I put almond oil is almost everything I make. I love almond oil. I really do. So you can use almond oil if you have like a bath or like a backup system at home, but it's not going to, I don't want you to think, think that any one of these you can mix by yourself. Do not mix them if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but you can use almond oil by itself if you run out of products, because a lot of customers have been sending me emails asking me if I run out of products, what am I going to do? So if you run out of products, these are what you're going to do. These are the things you want to do. You want to have like an almond oil. You can get a small almond oil for like $10. Um, if you get, please make sure it's, um, I like the organic stuff. I'm, I'm sorry. Please make sure it's organic and please also make sure it's premium because your skin deserves that. Okay. So wait, let's put this almond oil. So I got to put all my products back because my husband called me in my room. Daddy. My husband is, is not trying to give me coffee this morning, okay? He's watching the news. I don't know why my, um, I can see my live, but when I go on my page, my live is spinning. Can somebody tell me if my live is on? If you can see my live, you're watching me now, right? So tell me. Because when I go on my page, Tata, are you laughing at me? Yeah, let me show you guys what my other screen looks like. That, normally I do a double. This is my live. That's what I see when I go on my page. So it is on. Thank you, baby. So, okay, good. So I'll, I'll just neglect that little screen because I might do the screen because I can read because it's bold. Thank you. Thank you. Cynthia. Oh, girl, don't be mad at me, Cynthia. Your sister has been just busy, but your product, look at it. I want to show you what I'm making for you. You're one of the people that got this batch. So when you get it, I'll be forgiven, right? Because your product is four days late, which I never do. It is on, okay? Trust me, so Cynthia, Tefa, I'm making that just you're one of the people where well, you got a whole bunch of you guys, but when you one of my lovely lovey doves that I'm making that for. So that batch is where we're gonna end up last. So I'm gonna show you the key ingredients for that batch. So now we went through um three oils already that you can use by themselves. Uh, we got a lot of questions about tea um tea tree oil. So this is tea. I don't have anything right now. Don't worry, it's coming. Oh, it's going out today. So this is tea tree oil in the most concentrated form. And of course, I told you guys about the seal, right? The seal, organic, natural, okay? Um, this is an essential oil made in the U.S. Now, I want you to know that it is very, very strong. So do not buy tea tree oil and don't know the grade and start putting it on your skin. That's one thing I'm going to encourage you to do. So tea tree oil is out. Did you hear me? O-U-T out because you don't know which one you get in they don't tell you what the strength is and some of them mobile on um i don't want to say uh, people can hold me liable like the sites where we buy they can buy reasonable prices they don't tell you the strength of the tea tree oil this can mess up your skin like nobody's business but it is a wonderful product to add to uh, a mixture that can bring out the, the best out of your skin if you know what you're doing so this is one that's a no-no for you okay and if you want to use it, buy and test, test, do a test patch. Always do a skin test patch on your skin before you get a, yeah, get a big um, amount. Get a smaller size, do a skin test patch five to ten days and see what happens. If you don't get irritation, you like what it's doing for you, to each his own. But I don't recommend it directly on your skin. Now my next, um, I have, you guys should see how they lined up, okay? My next wonderful oil that is really, really good. And this one you can use on your own and it will not show you any sign two three days but it will show you signs months and you will just glow and your skin will just feel healthy and looks good of course we all know it's argan oil all right but now this is a concentrated form of argan oil very concentrated form um because i have i pour it in and um please don't get this particular brand don't go online and start looking for this one and you will know you will not be happy if you get the brands that I'm showing you, these are concentrated and this is pure 100% cold press. The reason why I use the cold press is my cold press is used really for my soaps and also um, to mix. And I'm going to show you the mixture that I'm doing in a few minutes. Uh, Cynthia, I feel so bad. All right. So this is argon oil. I was going to mail your stuff out when I looked. The cream wasn't enough to fill your cup and you will be mad if you got a little cup. So be patient. It's going out today definitely going out there i'm going to show you that, that let me just show you that your stuff is going out today see those envelopes sitting there on my shipping area that one of them has your name on it so yeah cynthia your package is going out today i am so sorry okay so now let's get back to oils now the next oil that everybody really should have a little just a teeny bit somewhere is the jojoba oil 
don't buy this one. This is too concentrated for you. Yeah. You see how concentrated it is? It don't even look like oil. Do not buy this, okay? Don't buy this brand. You can buy any jojoba oil, and you want to make sure. This is 100% pure jojoba, okay? And it's 100% um, organic also. Uh, what does jojoba oil do for you that makes you want to have it around? It's good for your hair, for your scalp. It's good for your skin. It enhances your skin glow and color. But these, are, when I'm telling you all these ingredients and all these oils, they don't work two days, honey. So, like, if you don't want to use um, um, harsh chemicals, you don't want to pay... Um, high prices for products you just want to get something that you can use and see effect over time these are the oils that i suggest but well, really this live is for my customers that ask me what is in your ingredients so i've gone to most of my ingredients and the ones that ask me what oils can i have a standby when your my product runs out like miss cynthia right here that is out of cream <laughs> that i was always on that cream four days ago i'm so sorry okay so cynthia you are one person that should be able to get a jojoba oil not in the concentrated form hi sonita um sonata is you can get a jojoba oil in um a regular strength form not in a concentrator form not in uh, uh pharmaceutical strength just a regular jojoba oil and have it around so when you run out of products you can use jojoba oil so we've got three oils you can use now when you run out of products correct okay good jojoba oil my next oil i want to talk about is aloe vera oil cause is organic is natural is premium all my products I try to get a hundred percent organic or eighty percent organic and they're all natural um, organic stuff and I like to get the premium brand you pay a little more for it I just want to make sure this um, has an expired and I like cold press ones I know a lot of people how you long time yeah I know so now you just need to come visit can I get it from Amazon um, when you get stuff from Amazon I uh, I th I rather you go to Whole Foods. Can I say that? All of you guys that wants to get oils that you can use for your um, skin, um, I I mean I love Amazon, but not everybody on Amazon is transparent. So um, I would like okay okay um, Cynthia, good question. Now for all of you that are watching, let me I'm gonna freeze the, the so these are the two oils that I really want you to get. Forget the other oils. Let's go to aloe vera oil. So all my customers that are watching me. You can get aloe vera oil for backup when you run out of my products, okay? Please do a light layer. You can, I normally go to David, David, um, David's Natural. Yeah, David's Natural Market is not bad. Um, but you don't want to get, you don't want to get, Tata, you don't want to get something that you're going to use for a long time from, um, I mean, if you're going to use it for, like, I, I'm talking directly to my customers. Tata, you know my customers, so I, I don't, I don't know who Tata is, but. Oh, here you go. My, listen, and listen to me. My life is finally on my screen. Tata, I don't know your real name, and I, and I can't see pictures because I'm blind without my other glasses. So um, if you want a little free consultation, Tata, you can call me later. We'll talk about oils that you can get. But this live is really for customers that have been sending me emails, asking me my ingredients. Please, they can understand some other words in the um, terms. So I, I've shown you all my ingredients when I first started. Now I'm telling you all the oils that I do put in those ingredients. And then now, now I'm telling you the oils that you can... Shakara, really? Tata. In the other mess. Listen. I am Alaji J A Kara and Haja Memuna daughter. We don't know people, but I love you and I see you alone. You don't laugh. I forget. I'm getting old. So you don't know me. I'm your customer. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me start her. Huh? Ask my customer. Where's my oh I can't use my phone. Where's my Tata. Is this Titi? Tata, you name Titi. What well, the I see Tata. I don't know who Tata is. I know Titi. So that's why. You guys fool me with all these Facebook names. Uh, true Queen, don't play that. Then you want me to know you that you are my customer. I don't know yes, true queen, don't play that. I know you have your number, my father. I know you do. Me too. Now that you said it, I, I I know who you are, but I don't know like okay, for instance, Lizette. How you doing? Did you get your package? Lizette is the only lucky people that package went out for this week. Okay, package are going to go back. Laminatu gave me your number. Oh, yes. You, Laminatu's um, sister-in-law. Oh, God. Here comes Margaret. All right, guys. Let's, let's, let's continue. So, what I've done this morning is give you... Good morning, Liz. How is, how is you going? Liz, I saw your face the other day on a picture you sent me. 
Okay, that's your real name. Okay, see, so I go with the real names. These little, yeah, uh, I, um, thank you, baby. These little names that you guys get on Facebook and Instagram, like one of my customers, my name is uh, is Precious Twenty Seven. How do I know who Precious Twenty Seven is? And I can't see. Tata, good, honey, honey, can you please give me some coffee? I'm gonna beg on on life. That's how, that's how I say what I talk to my husband when I want him to do something for me. Babe, that coffee smell. Is, I need coffee, please. I'm begging on life. So everybody knows I'm begging my husband. You don't care. I know you don't. <laughs> Listen to my husband. He's like, thank you, baby. He, 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 he didn't think I was serious when I said I wanted the coffee because I was on life. I, I, I mean, you guys, I'm going to be talking to you for a minute while I'm walking. Don't you think I need coffee? I need some energy. Okay, so these are some of them here. I am hilarious. Oh, thank you, baby. Oh, he did make the coffee, he just didn't bring it. Thank you, love. He left the coffee in the dining room. Look at that. And a, a big, huge cup. And he closed the door because he's watching TV and he doesn't like when I'm alive. He can hear me when he's watching his TV. But trust me, he's a good man. So now this is for just. Ooh, and he uses this creamer. He can make, ask my customers that come here in the morning, he can make some good coffee. Ooh. Mm. And I gotta slop it. I'm a slopper. Are you a slopper? I'm a slopper. Give me two minutes and we're gonna start talking. Ah. Um, you know, like Folgers, the best thing is there's Folgers in your cup. Do you know that commercial? That's, but I think that's not Folgers. I think that's, um, but my husband can make good coffee. I'm not good at making coffee. When I make a coffee, tell me I mess it up. So now we've talked about the oils that you can use, and one of them happens to be aloe vera oil. And please get the, you know, the seal. You want to see them seals, them organic seals, um, vegan seals. You want to also see the seals. These are stuff that are, um, that's 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 the good stuff. That's what you want to get. You want to get stuff with the seal. I gotta get you a seal list. I got a seal list somewhere, but next time I do a show, I'm going to make sure I get a seal list on the, so some of us see the, the seal list, we don't know what they are. Let me see if I can find a couple of seal lists. There's one here, that seal here tells you there's no animal fats in here, no animal byproducts, okay? So um, that's one seal you want to see. I'm going to look for seals so I can show you guys. Every ingredient was raised in a, in, a, in a controlled environment, so there's no extra stuff in it. And I'm trying to find seals. I want to show you guys the best seals. There's one that had tons of seals. Okay, here's, here's a bunch of seals. Freeze and take a picture. These are, these are the seals you want. Organic. These are all the seals you want. So you want to make sure you get, you get in the... What they're saying, that means that somebody has actually gone through those batches for them to have that seal. Does that make sense? FDA. All right, so now, of course, top of the line that if you all, before you go anywhere, before you even go to the, um, what did I show you guys before? Before you go to the vegetable glycerin, before you go to the aloe veras, before you go to the uh, emu oils, before you do any other oils, the one thing you need to go to first, and I'm serious, do not stay on it for too long either. And I got you one that I bought. This is the one I use for cooking. But my gallon is still, it's like a 10 gallon. I can't leave that up. So. We got 9 o'clock appointment? Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be done soon. We got mailing to do. The boss is telling me I'm taking too long on life. Okay. So this is um, extra virgin organic olive oil. Um, you can buy this in the store. Okay. And you want to make sure the seal again. The seal. Okay. All right, so you can buy this in Whole Foods. I think that's where I got this one from. It's a Whole Foods from Sam's Club. And these are import, these are the Italy ones. I like Italy oils. Okay, so those are oils you can use um, every day. These are oils you don't want to use every day. So that's a carrot, um, yeah, carrot seed oil. But these are all good for your skin. Um, and this is carrot seed oil in a distilled form. My husband is telling me I gotta go. So we're gonna do this quick. But I want to make sure I'm not, I'm not got much left. And this is one of my favorite oils to add to a finished product. Lavender oil. And then this last one, lemon oil. 
So these are the oil. I add these oils as I work. And before I forget to tell you, now if you are um, looking for a face tone, a skin toner, or uh, you don't you don't want to spend a lot of money to buy a skin toner, um, I I'm gonna recommend this. I shouldn't be recommending companies. I'm not gonna recommend. I shouldn't be doing that. I'm not endorsing anybody. Uh, but you can get rose water. And the reason why I wanted to show you, I like the Moroccan. Good morning, baby. I like the Moroccan rose water. It works better. It's just, I just love the Moroccan rose water. And it's not because I'm partial because I have Moroccan. But I just love the Moroccan rose water. Maybe because I grew up on it. You think so? All right, good. So now, that said, people that are looking for the 4-in-1 cream, I'm going to show you right now the mixture. I'm going to have to move my um, camera over a little bit. And so I'm going to try to keep it steady as much as I know how. And I'm going to adjust my frame so we'll be able to see here what I'm doing. So you guys got to be patient while I adjust my frame to be able to see the mixture I'm going to be making. Does that make sense? Okay, give me a minute. If you can't see that. Can you see the? Can you see it? Can we see it? Okay, good. Because I, I don't, the, uh, this is the time now we're going to have a conversation down here. I want to make sure that you guys... Oh, my God. Look at all the comments. All right, guys. I'm not doing comments because uh, my hubby um, will get me. All right. So, this is my uh, mixture right here. Can you guys see this? Oh, yeah. I can see it because I can see the other screen. Good, good. So, this is the mixture I want you to pay attention to. Now, do not try to make one of these at home because my husband is a professional at this now. So, this is just a drill because I'm mixing a five-gallon um, batch. And this, my husband has a make-believe concoction he put together. But this is one of my mixers. So, and in this mixer, I have made a base, okay? I have actually diluted all the chemicals that I showed you before, the natural ingredient chemicals I showed you before, and I've taken them from powder form to solid form, and I have also blended them in with this um, base, and to bring it all together, I have measured what I need to measure. I'm not going to tell you measurements, okay? That's my own secret. I have measured what I need to measure, but you can smell the, the lemon scent. It's take, overtaking the lavender. Um, but I've done all my ingredients in here that I want to make. And, and now this is the, the part that is very important when you're mixing. So just pay attention because I can't talk and mix. If you don't want to see that steam that just came out, you guys saw the smoke. After it starts smoking, you got to give the machine a break. I told you it was a make-believe, right, that my husband put together. So this is not something you can buy at the store. My hubby made this, um, put this concoction together for me. So, um, but what you want to do, what is important that you know is every five to ten minutes of mixing, you want to see if you got trace. Does that make sense? Oh, Tata, you know you're my customer. Stop it already. I see you now. Now I see you. Now you can, You showed up on my on my arm. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? But we're not done yet. That doesn't mean we're there. Now, because you got a little trace. Um, I wish I could get close so you can see. Oh, yeah, you guys can see. Okay. Let me just do it so you can see. I want a clear surface that has no lines. The smooth surface. I want you guys to pay attention right where my finger is. See, that's trace. You can trace, but the trace is not really good. Did you get that? All right, let me see somebody say, make it a comment. Tata, will you stop? Are you are my customer. Stop it already. I already know who you are. I didn't know who you were before. And, and guess what? For some of you that don't know, let me just come in the screen and tell you. 
I can't see with some of the glasses that I wear. This is my computer glasses, so I can't see um, or read some of your comments. All right? I got three different kind of glasses. It's terrible. Don't get issues like me. All right, so we're not at good trace yet. It's really getting there, but we're not there yet. And um, since my husband is waiting for this product to, we're going to try to send this product. Most of you guys are waiting on this cream. This is my um, special blend. I only make it for my customers. So if you're not a customer of mine, I don't normally sell this to you. And this cream is really for people that are trying to enhance their color. Well, let, let me say let me say it the right way. Let me let me do this for a minute. That's the good thing about this little little machine that my baby got me. I can just twist it. So let me explain the good thing about this cream. This is my. Uh, we started with a four in one, I think last year we started making four in one and we've gradually over the last um, month or two refined it to this that everybody just goes crazy for now. So this new, this is my newest four in one that I think this is, this is it. We're not going to make anything else. Tata, you need to just call me. I love you too. But anyway, so this is my special four in one. Oh, I got to get going. This is my special four in one. I got nine o'clock appointment. This is my special four in one that, um, oh. Not so much. If you're watching me, you're on 9 o'clock. I'm running late. I'm going to call you too when I'm done. Um, you, when you guys are running late, you need to call me when I'm running late. I always call you to tell you I'm running late so you don't rush to get to my um, um, New Hampshire um, location. Somebody's coming for facial and somebody's coming for a belly um, flattening this morning. So I got clients coming at the location. So people that want to do their, you want to flatten that belly, you want to get rid of cellulite, whatever you want to, you got to hit me up. You want to just farm and tone your skin, you got to hit me up, okay? So this cream really... Um, is that the one I recently got? You got it, Lizette. You got it. That's it. That's your cream, Lizette. So now let me ex. How you like it, Lizette? Text. How you like it? So this is a cream for people that really want to come from chemical, harsh chemical to uh, organic natural chemicals. I've made this cream really for you guys to transit you over. Thank you, Lizette. I saw that love. You like you like it. Transiting you from. Good morning, Famata. Transiting you from the harsh chemicals to normal chemical without you going dark because that was more my biggest issue i could not find a medium to not make your skin dark when you came to me so you went through that dark phase as we we're calling a shaz creation and for some of you that are super bleachers that use super harsh chemicals um i want you to know that you're still gonna go down a teeny little bit because you are you got so much hydroquinone in you we gotta get out of you but if you're just a light chemical and harsh chemical bleacher and you were using a harsh chemical bleach and you came from that to this cream this is the shaz newest cream the four in one your skin is gonna just hydrate and glow and we're just gonna use serums and other things to make sure we heal you while we transit you and you can just stay on the cream and then for my customers that want to enhance the skin color a little bit this is your cream now let's go let's finish making this product so the or cynthia and everybody else that waiting for cream that can get their cream to um, go out today. I'm almost done, Daddy. All right, two more minutes. You guys ready? just go reverse of my little thing here it does two ways and once we do that we are almost ready Laugh when I tell you. Some people want to know how I know when it's there. I just don't know. I just know. Well, I think it's there. Let's check. All right. So let's check. Remember how I showed you how it looks for trace, and the cream gets thicker when it's there. See, it got thick, and you can still get to trace even though the cream is thick. So now let's watch if we got to trace. Yes, we are there. All right. So we're there, and when you make soap, you gotta watch for trace also. Once you get to trace, your mixture's ready. All I gotta do is a couple of tests and we're ready to package. All right. We're gonna do a pH test to make sure that the pH is balanced. And once that test strip comes up, good, we're good to go. All right. So, 
Now the rest is history, really. Wait, let me just see if I can bring my cup. I... So that was my mixture. So I just put you guys through my morning, one of my morning routines. And for some of you that use the um, the to, 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 the Shah Special Blend Soap and the Shah Winter Blend Soap, I don't do all my face all the time. So I did that today for you to know that my stubborn areas is sometimes I just concentrate on that. So thank you all for watching. Um, share the link. People that want to call and order, you guys that were calling me when I was still on I had, now it's the time for you to call because I'm going to start testing, packaging, and shipping. And then I got to make all this to make it. Of oh, course, time for a 9 o'clock appointment. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Love you all. Peace. Have a beautiful day. May God bless each and every one of us. Assalamu alaikum. Peace.